Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Okay, it's 10.32 right now, so let's start today's class. <clears throat> so today we're gonna learn how to how to create a glass container we're gonna learn how to draw like glass material how can we make it look like a glass a glass jar glass bottle something like the this one with the uh, battlefish one but for a uh, younger kids I'll teach you like a uh, a simple way to draw it a simple way to draw it okay so let's just look at some real pictures Real photos of glass, glass container, glass bottle. Okay. Uh, let's look at the first one. Is this shape? Uh, this kind of shape. So I found this pictures online. Just want to show you like. Uh, when you draw, when you try to draw or paint a glass, glass bottle or a glass container, how can we simplify it? Just by adding some highlight and darkness. Let's look at this one. Let me just get mine. Okay, let's look at this one. We can see this part, this white part, and there's a white part here. So these are highlights, also something here. So basically, we just adding a white highlight at the end. So you, your glass container will look like a glass. Now. Will be more three-dimensional you can see the like transparency of it so uh, 
What do I mean to simplify it? To make it、uh, more easy,、uh, more easy to draw. Let me show you. So you can see here. Even though、uh, the glass is like transparent, you can. But it also got the thickness, the thickness of it. So basically, if we're gonna draw this one, so we're gonna draw the top. No matter what kind of shape is, you always draw it twice. So you draw another layers inside, another layers inside. So now you you got the oh this part is too thick. So you you got the thickness of it. So uh right now. Whatever you draw inside the container should not be touching this, this. The outside circle should not be touching this. Ah,、uh, let me use another. Should not be touching this pink because the the pink、uh, line is outside. But but everything you can touch the. You draw should be inside this black line. So no matter if I draw a、uh, a house inside, and the house should not be over, should not be touched a a pink line. Okay. Just like this, everything should be stay inside the the black zone. Okay. So when you draw uh, your uh, elements inside the container, remember to not touch the outside. If you're asking why, because this this part, this part is the the we're just showing the thickness of the glass. Okay, something like this. Let's look at the next one.、Mm, this one, uh, snow globe, right? Let's also talk about the the highlight part. Even though it looks like oh, it looks like it doesn't have any thickness. It looks like just one thin layer of glass, covered. <laughs> But if you. Look at it carefully. You can see it's another layers inside. So two layers. So when you try to draw, uh, we're not gonna do those uh traditional ways, right? So we're gonna simplify it. So just do two lines. Two lines. Uh, basically, it depends on how thick how thick is a、uh, is the glass. If it's a、uh, a thinner than this one, then your two lines should be closer. Okay, should be closer. Okay. Let's also look at the highlight part. 
this part is a highlight. I can only see this part. So these one, uh, oh, this one and this one, two parts. Just two highlights. Okay. This is the next one. This one you can see more clear about the thickness of the glass, right? Uh, why is that? Because it's in front of a darker, in front of a darker background. So you can see it clearly. Uh, so, so, so like I said, the outside. The inside. And the highlight. So one, this one only got one highlight. Why highlight? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, this one is another. Did I show you guys this one? No. It's another container, glass container. So, for this one, uh, the thickness of it. You can see a little bit. Just a little bit on this side. So two lines, we got two lines. Okay, something like this. Uh, don't worry too much about the top, I would say. And the highlight is right here and here. Even though it's transparent, it still got some color reflect from the background. So when you color it, you can see a light uh, bluish gray. Okay. So like I said, remember the thickness of the container and the highlight. Just this simple, right? Okay, this one. I think some someone might find this one sim like familiar. <laughs> okay, we got uh this glass jar here. Glass jar here. Uh, where the thickness of it? It's like this. It's really thick. Uh, this one is more complicated to look at it, but if we simplify it, let me simplify it. So th this is the shape of the jar, right? Okay, then uh, like I said, you should draw another layers inside to show uh to show us the the thickness of the jar right uh the bottom part is just the the bottom of the jar 
Okay. If you want to show some thickness of the top, also just draw another layers inside. Okay, now you got the jar and the highlight. Highlight. Highlight is when you, at the end you add the white part. Yes, this one, the highlight. Okay. So let me show you some uh, examples. Let's look at the first one. Like I said, two layers. You're probably gonna ask. This one doesn't have two layers. But you can see some. It's right here, the blue part here. Some of the uh, glass container, they might, uh, maybe because they're really thin. So you don't have to draw like two layers. But you can see the plants inside is not touching the outside. Look at this one, it's not touching the uh, the outside black line is not touching that. Also this one. So everything is inside. Right? It's inside. And there's a space between the two layers. It's a little bit space between. Also like this one, a space between, right? Space between, the empty space between. So when you're drawing it, you have to like be careful to look at it. They all got, okay, out. So, I have to explain it a little bit in Mandarin. Joe 它不是一条线这样的，它不是一一条线这样，它是有个厚度，所以你要在里面再画一个，再画一层这个玻璃容器，小一点的，在在里面再画一层，所以你所有的东西都是在里面那一层，你你画的东西都是在里面那一层，它
can you only draw like a glass jar? Of course not. If you can find other other glass container, you find it interesting to draw, you can do it. Like this one is a light bulb, right? Like I said, two layers. Now every, everything is inside. I'm gonna draw something outside. That's for background, right? This one got interesting background. You can use this one for reference if you don't know what to draw. Here's another one. Uh, this one is a glass jar, right? An, an ordinary normal glass jar. I think you can find it in your house. A pickle jar. Look at it. Even though this one doesn't, the artist doesn't do a, a line, another layers inside, we can still see it. How? Look at here. You can see the space empty space right the uh, the ground the, the ground is not touching the outside it's not touching the outside so uh, even though uh, artists didn't draw the line inside we can still see it we can see it. But you have to do it is too because you just start to learn how to draw it. You should use you should draw a line inside to help you. To help you understanding the the glass material. Right? You should draw it. Something like this. Now you can see it clearly. It's more a uh, three dimensional now. Uh, but for the highlight part, I think it's not enough. What do I mean? If we at the end we take a white, you can use white uh, white acrylic. White white acrylic. White acrylic paint, or you just. At the first, you just draw the white part and leave it white. Just don't color it. So, I can see a little bit highlight part here, but it's not stronger enough. So, something like this. Now you can just see a little bit like a glossy feeling of it, glossy feeling of it, right? So just add two or more highlights to help you. And the highlight uh, makes Okay. Next one. It's another snow globe. You can also see the thickness of it. And this one is I I really like the wave the wave wave part of it. Like this part, right? Interesting. Uh, 
got the different way of high uh highlight just two circle okay let's look at another one I got a lot of reference to show so here is another one uh, I really like the shape of this container like I said two lines see two lines you can draw uh things outside that's okay it's for background from uh, a foreground right uh but this one i think uh it missing some highlight if we're gonna add highlight one or two so you have you can add it right here just at the ready end or here and here okay just two highlight it will look your uh it will make your glass container more three-dimensional it got those glossy feeling of it right so the key the key is like two layers and the highlights how do we draw a glass container? Two layers and highlight. We just simplified it. Let's look at, at the last example. This is another shape of glass container. Another shape. Also, uh, let's sum it up, two layers to show the thickness of the glass. Uh, it doesn't have any highlights, so we're going to add it. When you add in the highlight, you can just choose the dark part. Maybe thicker something like this okay just two part two highlights it will look make it look three-dimensional Time to show you how to draw it. So I just took a photo, uh, took a photos of a glass jar I found in my house. Let's just look at this jar. By what do we talk about? So just look at it. First we have to understand the shape of it. So sim just simply draw the shape of the
of the chart. You can see some lines. I'm not gonna do it. 就先呃，先把这个瓶子的形状画出来 ，OK。And then, like we said, you you have to draw another layer inside to show the thickness of it. This bottle's height is roughly this. We're in its width. 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 对吧？我把这个透明一点。Okay, something like this. So, already, already start a little sketch of it. I'm gonna do it、uh, one more time. I'm just drawing the basic shape of the jar. No matter what kind of、uh, jar you are choosing, you have to always starting with the basic shape, right? It's not exactly the same, but that's okay, right? We're not gonna chasing like the re re. Realistic of a thing. We just want to. I just want you guys to understand how how do we create, like how do we draw glass materials. Okay. Now to show the thickness of it, I have to draw another layers inside. Okay, so now I I got the basic shape of this kind uh of this glass jar. Okay, now it's really about it's really open now. It's no matter what you draw inside. I choose to draw a frog. A frog inside. So this frog is standing on a rock. Just draw my frog. Oh. Oh, this is. <laughs>、uh, silly, a silly frog. Okay, so the silly frog is sitting on a rock. So this is my rock. Just draw a rock. And some lily pads. So it's really open. What do you draw inside the glass jar? Like I said, just use your imaginations. Anything you like to put in the jar. Something I show you, uh, in a reference that I showed you a lot of examples. Can use them as reference. If you still don't know what to draw inside, maybe you can pick a、uh, one main one main element. Like、uh, for my main element is the frog, so you can just draw one main element inside. Uh, 
in the middle and you create a background, create an environment for the main element. Okay, I got this one. Um, shoot at more stuff. Uh, 就是你们在画的时候呢，里面的东西就是很自由的。你想画什么都可以，但是可以有一个主题。就比如说我现在画的是一个小青蛙，它就是一个主角。So the frog is the main character. 它是个主角，然后你可以选一个主角。比如说你要画美人鱼,你可以画一个美人鱼 If you want to draw mermaid, you can draw mermaid and you have to draw things around the mermaid 如果你画一个美人鱼,你就要它的周围,你要给它一个环境 美人鱼住在哪里? 它在干什么? 如果你画一个 unicorn 你画一个独角兽 那你可以画很多关于独角兽的东西 like 彩虹 like rainbow like candy something like that OK 好我现在就是 差不多画好了我的这个 glass jar so I finish my glass jar and I have something inside. You can also think about where is a glass jar located? Where where is a glass jar? Maybe on the ground. On the ground. You can also create some create uh draw something outside, right? We can draw something outside. Let me add some clouds, maybe. Anything. Some flowers. So this is just to make your artwork more creative. You have to uh, always think about it. Okay, so uh, next part, if you uh, you have to use pencil first, after uh, you draw it, then you have to use marker to trace, or you can trace it at the end, after coloring. Okay, so uh, now I'm just going to color it. If you are an uh, older kid, you can use acrylic to color it. Or watercolor. Younger kids, uh, if you're not familiar with how to use acrylic? Um, then don't use it. Okay. How? 你们图现在要开始上色小一点的年纪小一点的小朋友就可以用彩色马克笔或者是彩铅也可以但是彩铅就比较难达到那种有点透明的效果就比较难让它出现一种比较透明的那种玻璃玻璃的效果所 
start coloring. I'm going to do a quick color. Just color it. I'm gonna use blue for for the water. I'm only going to color the glass jar right now. Okay. A rock. Let me just ah. just look at this jar now. Some of parts, they're not the uh, same color for the all of them, right? Some of part is dark color and some of them is, see this part is darker. So we just take some gray color, I think. If you don't know what to do, you can just leave it like this white. I'm gonna add some gray. Even though it's transparency, it still got us it still got some colors. Very light color. Okay. <clears throat> and this part, we're gonna make it darker. You have to find a glass container and you have to look at it, which part is darker, which part is lighter. Okay, now uh, I pretty much done the glass, but it doesn't look like, it doesn't look really three dimensional. And it, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't have, doesn't have those glossy feeling of it. What should we do? What should we do? No one answer me. So we should add highlight. I'm gonna add uh, one highlight here. Oh no. I think here. Here. It's gonna be really white. Another one here. So just one, two, one, one spot, two spot. Now your glass container is more three dimensional now. You can see that this part is covered the the leaves inside, but that's okay. Now it's more. 
livable, like、um, we understand everything. The frog, the the leaves, the water is inside, right? So okay,、um, I don't have time to color the background now. But you have time at home, right? Okay. Uh, now you can see the details. All of the details covered by the paint. But don't no don't panic. We can always retrace it. Okay. So I don't have time to color the background. I'll do it later. Let's talk about homework. So you just create the world inside a glass container. 就是啊 ，OK. I even wrote down Chinese. 就创造一个玻璃瓶里面的世界。要呃什么样的世界 ？What kind of world are you gonna create inside a glass container? It's really up to you. But I would say, be more creative. Use your imagination. Anything could happen, right? Okay. <clears throat> Let me show you some uh previously student work. Hoo <laughs> hoo. So the 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 first this one the left one. The left one just some uh flowers, rose, or lollipops inside a glass jar. Okay. You can pretty much see. The most important part is to show the the made of the glass jar. So you can see the these highlights. This one got a lot of highlight, right? And you can see the thickness of it. The black part is the the bottom is really thick. <clears throat> And this one, this one is it's painted by it's painted with acrylic, so this is why it's a little bit hard to control. But it's, it looks really good. So we got the thickness like this, right? For this one, the bottom thickness. Okay, and we got the highlight. Where is the highlight? Here, here, two, one at the bottom. Do 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 do. Let's look at another one. Oh, this is another one. It's a girl, and a girl, and I don't know.
a girl and and her friend inside and the butterflies inside a glass jar. It's not that clear about the edge, the sh the edge of the. It doesn't have any clean lines to show the the shape of it, but we can still see the shape of it. We can understand it, and the highlight, highlight, okay. Next. Who did this one? Okay, this one is another one. You cannot see the bottom of the jar, but that's okay. So he got a lot of different flowers inside I think and the background is really colorful oh this one this one is <clears throat> it's a tiger king inside a inside a glass jar So you can see the thickness, right? The bottom is really thick. And the bottom is always darker. And the highlight. Don't worry too much about the top. We're not gonna focus up about that for this week. Let's look at the <clears throat> next one. Okay, there's another one. It's a unicorn inside. And you got some highlight. Also the thickness of the the jar. It's really thick. <clears throat> and it has a background and a foreground for this piece. You have to also think about the where is the where where did you put the uh, the container the jar? I think this one is on the floor and some curtains around it. Next one. Okay, we already see this one. It's a fish. It's a fish inside. Okay. Maybe let me just talk about the homework again. Okay. So, uh, so the homework is just create a world inside a glass container. So you have to f find you have to find a glass container in your house and you draw it and create a world inside the glass jar glass container a very very interesting draw something interesting inside Okay. 
作业，我们这周的作业就是要你要在家里找一个玻璃瓶，玻璃的容器，然后我们要学习怎么画一个玻璃的容器。然后你要在这个玻璃画的这个玻璃容器里面画一些比较有创意的东西。OK， 就玻璃容器里面的世界。OK， 好了。OK， today's class is over. Hope to receive a lot of creative glass glass container artworks from you guys. So I I'll see you next week. See you guys. Thank you very much. Bye bye.